What is going on, everyone? Anthony Cofrancesco from Data Dive, and this is the Quick Start Guide. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to start a dive. So, all dives on Data Dive are going to start from the Amazon platform, and you're going to begin by typing in your hero keyword. So, in this case, I'm going to stay with the examples from our FAQ playlist, and we're going to do a cat tower. Now there's two different ways that you can start a dive. You can either add products to your ASIN tray or you can use the dive box. I personally like using the ASIN tray because I can see all of the images, all of the listings very clearly, very easily, and I can decide, okay, these are the products that I want to include in my research. So when you're starting a dive, you're gonna to try to get 15 plus relevant competitors. So I'm just gonna keep adding these to my tray and I'm not going to choose any sponsored results. I only want the organic best sellers, and ideally, I want to get 15 plus. So you can see here, I've added a bunch to my tray. Once I've added all the products I want to my tray, I can open up the Data Dive extension. I can go over to this button, which is the ASIN tray, and I can create a new niche. And I'm going to call this Cat Tower 3 because I've done this a few times and I'm gonna call this QSG for the quick start guide. And then I would click dive. Now, a few other things that I wanna show you before I click dive, this is the quick start guide, so we're gonna give a little bit more of an in-depth breakdown, is let me show you how to use the dive box. So if I click on this button here on the right-hand side, it's gonna pull up this dive box application. And this is going to show a different view of the data. So I'm gonna get some high level uh, overview into the niche here. So I can see some information for the niche as a whole, like how many units are being sold, median reviews, where people are selling this product from, different countries. But what I really like about this is, let's say I'm only selling a very expensive cat tree. So I can actually do things like filter by price, and I can say, you know what? I want to add this one that's $149, this one that's $139, and I can add here from the tray. You can see right now, I've got 15 ASINs that I've added to my tray, and again, I could create a new niche and then click dive here. Another thing that I wanna show you real quick when it comes to starting a dive is I could go look inside the subcategory. In this example, I'm, go I'm going to go to cat trees, and I'm gonna see maybe there's products that are showing up here inside of the subcategory that, that are not already in my ASIN tray. So sometimes these are all sponsored. Sometimes products that don't have a BSR might show up here. This example is uh, featured from Amazon Brands. I'm gonna add it in this scenario. You might be able to find a few, a, a few alternate better options. I can also, if I have a list of ASINs, I'll do this when I'm getting on client calls. They'll send me, hey, here are the top competitors for my niche. I can just paste a list of ASINs here, make sure I select my correct marketplace, click add, and then all of those products will be added to my ASIN tray. So again, in order to start my research, I'm gonna create a new niche. I'm gonna call this Cat Tower 3 QSG for the quick start guide, and then I'm gonna click dive. Now this being quick start guide, I'm going to give a few best practices and pro tips here. Sometimes when you're doing your research, you might be looking at a niche where there are not 15 relevant competitors for that niche. So you might be asking, well, what do I do in that scenario? If you're searching for products and there's not 15 competitors selling the exact same thing, you might have to take a step back and look at a little bit broader of a niche. So if, let's say for example, cat trees were not a popular product and there weren't already a handful of people selling it, I might have to go to a larger category, a more broad view like cat accessories and try to get the closest thing that I could find to that product. The thing that you want to keep in mind when you're starting a dive is when you begin, you want to be as specific as possible. So in this case, I wouldn't want to go add a bunch of random cat accessories here. I really only want to try to get people that are selling cat trees, cat towers. The reason why this is so important is with data dive, 
If you get too many unrelated products, it's going to negatively affect your relevancy. Because if I would get like a cat scratching post and I would add these and I would add that product to um, the dive, if I would add that product to the dive, it's going to bring in all of these cat scratching post keywords as well as these cat tree keywords. And the cat trees are going to rank really well and be indexed for cat tree keywords, but not necessarily for the scratching posts or the more general category. My recommendation is always when you're starting your dive to start as specific as possible. And then if you run the research and include your own product, and you find that you're dominating your most immediate niche, you can always take a step back, you can zoom out, and then look at a bigger and bigger perspective in terms of how your product is doing in the overall niche. So now our research is completed, I can now go to the master keyword list, and that wraps up our video, Quick Start Guide, How to Start a Dive. <laughs>